Hi, guys, and welcome back to another edition of Nick and Narf. Two brothers in Tucson bringing you music from the 60s, 70s, 80s, and beyond, both ways. And this guy here says that he's with Nick. Hey, that's me. That's right. You're wearing this beautiful shirt, Orlando, our brother, sent me for my birthday, and his beautiful Nick and Narf mug with the exciting picture of me. Me! I'm the back me! <laughs> anyway, welcome to another show. We've got a great one for you with one of the classic bands of all time, with one of the most famous, iconic lead singers of all time. It is... Eric Burden and the Animals, the great British group formed in 1963. And Eric Burden was performing well into the 2000 and teens. He's just an amazing, amazing artist with the iconic voice that's unforgettable. Born May 11th, 1941. 1941. Wow. Wowee. So he's 83. Three. Kicking ass and taking names. What, a, what an iconic voice. One of the bad boys of rock and roll along with Mick Jagger and some of the other guys. But, boy, he was something. You know, I don't know about you guys, but whenever he came on TV, I always thought of the Beatniks. You know, like, if you guys remember the shows where they show the Beatniks, you know? Eric Burden had that hair, but he, he was a he was a rough he was a rough dude though he was a badass he was not just your typical flower power beatnik I mean you know when you see him perform you knew there was something raw and rugged about Eric Burden he was just amazing together between Eric Burden's solo work animals work with the band War. With his other, other incarnation of his band, he did over 30 albums in his storied career. And, I mean, what are you going to do when you have 50 songs to choose from? Listen to these titles. House of the Rising Sun. Don't Let Me Be Misunderstood. It's My Life. Boom, boom. I'm crying, baby. Let me take you home. Monterey. San Francisco Night Sky Pilot. When I was young, spill the wine. So many great songs that we had to sit around. What are we going to choose, Nick? And we came up with three, I think... From the early Eric Burden. I mean, we could have done the Spill the Wine and all that stuff. Those are pretty well played. But we wanted to go back to the early stuff because that's where the roots of the animals come from and Eric Burden comes from. So we got three great choices for you today, which I know you're going to enjoy. And uh, before we start, let me tease you into considering subscribing, liking. Hit the like icon. Share it with your friends. If you haven't subscribed, we'd love to have you be a part of the tribe. And if you have, we want to thank you for all of your support all the time. Little little uh, story, a tidbit that I read was that he married a woman and he, he was a model. And a year later, she dumped him for Jimi Hendrix. Oh, well, wow. I, I'd sort of be proud to be dubbed for Hendrix. At least that's a that's a move upward for her. I no, know. not really. But it's <laughs> Eric like, was an amazing guy too. Yeah, like, wow, that's the world of music in the '60s. No kidding, isn't that a, what a great story? I never knew that. Anyway, uh, uh, all our subscribers again too. Before we start, we love you. Thanks for everything. But let's get into it. This song was number thirteen on the charts. It is on the Rolling Stone list of top 500 songs all time at number 233, and it's even in the and, and it, it was even put into the Grammy Hall of Fame as an all-time song. And by the way, um, Eric Burden was listed as what the 57th greatest singer, singer of all time of, of all time in rock. Yeah. Okay, well here he is, the 57th greatest singer of all time, it doing would take one or with two. his great song "We Gotta Get Out of This Place." In this sturdy old part of the city Where the sun refused to shine People tell me there ain't no use in trying Now my girl, you're so young and pretty one thing I know is true You'll be dead before your time is due I'm dying Of the organ Watch my daddy in bed at time Watch his habit turn and drain He's been working and slaving his life away Oh yes I know
you're so young and pretty And one thing I know is true, yeah You'll be dead before your time is due Know it Watch my dad That is one of the rawest recordings you'll ever hear. He goes a little bit flat on one note, and then later he can't even... I mean, let's be honest, when he goes up high and he's screaming up there, you can barely even hear him because he's turning away from the mic. But he didn't want to do another take, my gut says, because the voice would have been gone by then because of the screaming. Boy, but he could just belt from, the, from his diaphragm and the soul. He, you know, and you listen to those titles of the songs and the subject matter the animals did. They did not do... Puffy, yeah. warm, fun I love, love song. You, you it's love always, me. we got to get out of here. Don't bring me down. <laughs> got to go to the house of the rising sun, the house of a prostitution. That's I mean, true. Don't let me be misunderstood. It's not like, oh, honey, meet me at the malt shop. You know, <laughs> they're all edgy, heavy. So occasionally there's a little soft love song, but that's very rare for the animals because that wasn't who Eric Burden was. He was raw, blues, yeah. street. You know, uh, ghetto in its own way in, in, in England there. I mean, you could tell he had a, a rough upbringing. He's real blue collar. Everything they do yeah. is blue collar, hardcore, from the soul kind of rock. And it sounds it in his voice. I love that it? bass line. Don't you love the bass line what in this song? song? Oh, man. Great song. Well, so powerful. Well, hope you enjoyed that one. Leave us your comments. Uh, tell us about your animals' experience. If you ever saw Eric Burden or the animals or both together. Um, now, next song. This is now an interesting we just found out. I love this song a lot. It's a terrific one. And it was from 1966. By the way, We Gotta Get Out of This Place was from also from 1965. So that was a year earlier. 66 now. This is a song written by Jerry Goffin and Carol King. Figure that one, how the they great, got a hold of that to Eric Burden. The Usually, great husband and wife They team. were writing for so many American bands, you didn't realize you were writing for English bands, too. That's something. But this is a great song, and I never would have known until I just read it that it was written by Carol King and Goffin. It is from 1966. This is wow. Don't Bring Me Down. You must have been 12. Could be Motown, couldn't it? story to give as well as take one thing I need is your respect one thing I can't take is your neglect more than anything I need your love then troubles are easy to ride
Tasty. Tell me what you really feel, Eric. You know what he sounded like, Nick? Tom Jones. There was a part there I thought, Tom sounded like Tom Jones. The way he built up, oh, we will we, provide we, we, for you. But was that a tour de force of Eric Burden singing? He sounds out so soft. He plays that first part. Then he goes, I don't want to play. And he blurts it out. And it, it's such subtle production with that organ, so soft in the yeah. background. Yeah, it's soft, and all of a sudden, bring the fuzz back And in. that fuzz back. Nah, nah, nah. It has such a 60s sound. It's raw, but it's clean and tight, and yeah. it's beautifully produced. And in the end, you heard him talking over the, the, the singing and everything. I think it's a really tastefully assembled song. It just blows me song. away that you realize the transition from the 50s music to the 60s with the rawness that's coming in there. And then, of course, we've seen the transition from the 60s to the 70s where it's uh, putting more and more instrumentation yep. i mean purity i mean more sophistication of production value and more the sophistication drummer of equipment, in this one really. was so minimalistic as in the last song too i mean i'm sure they just he could play really well but they didn't but want him to be, go crazy they wanted to stay true also to their r&b roots i mean they yeah. really had a lot of r&b in their their rock it was raw it was uh it was uh, earthy and it, it was it was soulful and it was felt. I mean, it's their songs. A lot of the songs, Eric Bird makes you feel them, feel the emotion, not just hear the music and the melody and the lyrics. You're hearing yeah. you're hearing like a soul singing uh, out what is really is is inside. You know, I mean, it's amazing. He really brings that up. But anyway, let us know what you thought. I don't bring me down. Bad by boy, Carol King, I wish my life a tapestry of boy. <laughs> No, we love you, Carol. Okay, now, the last one we're going to do is from 1966 as well, but this is Eric Burden solo. When he, he had a little window of opportunity to do a solo album, and he brought this song out as a single. It was a, was a one side of a, of a two-sided single. It reached number 29. Wow. Um, anyway, it, and it's a song you, you know and you think, oh, you remember when you hear it, but nobody hardly ever plays it. And that's why I want to play it, because it's one of my favorite Eric Burden songs. Here it is, 1966, Eric Burden solo doing Help Me Girl. Motown. I mean, it could be Motown. Yep. Ridiculous. You gotta help me, girl. Help me, girl. Cause I'm going insane. Nice bass work. So much could be a Motown song. Absolutely. Like he said, Supremes. <laughs>
<laughs> That's as close to a tender love song as a bunch you're going to get from Eric Berman. Amazing, really, and it was well produced. Isn't that a tasty thing? I mean, he could even do a Motown song, a Motown R&B. He could cover all the bases. He could do hard-ass rock, rhythm and blues, Motown, pop, heavy acid rock. I mean, the guy was... Really yeah. underrated in a lot yeah. of ways for a long, long time. It really did. It really took getting him into the '90s and him doing revivals of stuff where people really, really started appreciating what a gem and what an amazing performer Eric Burden always has been. And one of the quiet giants, even though he's loud in the singing, he was always sort of in the background of the other frontmen, Mick Jagger, uh, the Beatles, uh, uh, Dave Clark, all these other bands. The Animals were still big, but. Eric Bird never hit that giant side because I guess he was kind of against the grain. He ran a lot against the grain, but yeah. what a great voice, what a great legacy, and we sure hope the hell you enjoyed these three wonderful songs by Eric Burden and the Animals. And if you did and you have not, please consider subscribing, liking, and sharing. Tell your friends about us. We love Karen for your ears, and all our subscribers again, thanks so much. Nick, yeah, any final thoughts? Give us 10 to 15 minutes of your time every week. What's uh, the big we bring deal? A, we try to put a smile on your face and a smile in your ears, because we're Karen for them. Anything else you want to say about about the uh, music today? Uh, the, other than the fact that, you know, he really did take a back seat, but then he came out with War, and when he came out with War, my God, it was like a second career. It was. It was almost a decade later with Spill the Wine and uh, Sky, uh, Sky Pilot. I don't think he did that with War. I'm not sure if he did or not. But Sky Pilot, Monterey, some, some hits that came out of nowhere that yeah. really rekindled his career. And he's carried that legacy forward for over half a century. Well, yep. Could, Eric, you're a jewel, man. We love you. Thanks for all you did. And again, thank you for joining us today on another episode of Nick and Nar. See you guys next time. Ciao. Ciao, Bombini. Peace out all.